Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and frickin' look at this. I never thought this was ever going to happen. Help wanted on the Nintendo frickin' Switch. I've got my controller right here. This is on the Switch. It's, it's honestly crazy. I don't know how they managed to do this. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be providing any gameplay um, footage for you guys. I'm not going to be playing the game. Unfortunately, I don't even have enough money to buy this, but if I did, I totally would. But I calculated it exactly. I'm only going to have a couple cents left over, but I have calculated it perfectly that I have already the first four games, and I have enough money for uh, Pizza Sim, Sister Location, and Ultimate Custom Night. I have enough for the seven main games. Unfortunately, not enough for Help Wanted. Sometime in the future though, Maybe, hopefully, but this is insane. Alright, so still we'll put out a teaser trailer, or actually it was more of a release trailer, um, and the game came out maybe a few hours after the trailer, but we're going to be looking through the screenshots, and we're going to watch the trailer, do an analysis of it, which is kind of weird considering the fact that the game is out, some people have made videos, um, so we really don't have to, but hey. It's gonna be fun. We do this for all the trailers. All right, we're gonna do it for this one because this one I'll be honest. I like a lot better than the Original one. Okay, may maybe a lot better is is kind of pushing it But this one's definitely really good. So we have to check it out. All right, so teen rating obviously here we go Nintendo switch I have seen this by the way we're going to watch it through once then we'll do an analysis And it's paused that's great It's working now. That's good. I was having trouble loading before, but hopefully it should be good. They love making big deals out of such tiny little things. In the first trailer, it was Chica in the hallway, now it's Phoebe in the bed. So I've seen that before, but it's so good. It's so good. All right, so I will say I have not played it. Um, hopefully, you know, sometime in the future, because Help Wanted is arguably my favorite game in the series. So eventually, I'll probably get it on the Switch. But I have seen Darko play it, and judging by his playthrough alone, this looks great. The graphics look amazing and you can tell just by the trailer the jump scares are really good especially for a switch game you know the started off in virtual reality and then they ported it over to the nintendo switch which oh god i was not ready for that but yeah like wait let's let's go back a little bit take a look at this it's just they they nailed it and it looks so good on the Switch. I'm sure you guys have seen Doc uh, play through it, but it just, it looks so good. And it gives you the option to uh, freely look around, or it has like a um, locked uh, camera view, so you can look straight ahead, up, down, right, left. For you guys, <laughs> right and left are probably reversed for the camera, but um, another interesting thing is the rumble mechanic for the controllers yeah wait wait <laughs> i actually nailed it um hd rumble support that will make you jump with excitement wrong wrong game trailer but uh if you guys didn't know the pro the not the pro controller uh the joy cons have rumble mechanics and so when you get jump scared or when something intense happens they'll rumble which i think is really cool i'm actually really happy that they worked that into this port that just that really adds to the effect and Darko pointed this out in his video but right he oh i can't actually point to it but the shadow um on bonnie's bow tie is a bit pixelated but really that's the worst it gets um it does take a little bit for the textures to load 
Uh, only a few seconds, you don't have to wait like so long, but when they load, they look great. Like this body here, great for the Switch. That, just everything about it. You can see the uh, the controls right here, so you press Y to reboot things, and I think it was the D-pad right down here to navigate, and then it was one of the joysticks to move around. But yeah, it just, it works so well, they ported it great. X to use the flashlight, but in the monitor, and then Y to use the flashlight on the desk. That's a little weird, but like, look at how detailed that is. Like, they'll fall away, and it's on the Switch, and it still looks great. Um, Jesus, what's his name? Nightmare Fredbear. I nearly said Funtime Fredbear. Um, Nightmare Fredbear, he looks great. His jump scale looked great. Um, this main hub still looks fantastic. Um, I never saw, actually. I don't think... Yeah, no, Curse of Dreadbear is not yet ported over, even though you can see the shadow of the, um, the candy pill right there. I'm guessing they're gonna add it in as DLC, um, later on, sometime later. Um, it's weird that they didn't port it alongside Help Wanted. It's also worth noting that it's called Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, not VR, because it doesn't work with the Labo headset. I know a lot of people were speculating, well, maybe they can find a way to um, to make it work, but honestly, I don't think it ever will. This is such a detailed game, and I'm really surprised that they added in this much detail for the Switch. I keep saying it, but it really is crazy, because usually games would have to scale down the resolution. Um, but here, everything looks great. The graphics look great, the lighting. Um, plus shot right down there, he looks great. Um, and here's the logo, of course, and there's the trailer. Yeah, so it all looks great. <laughs> um, it's the same price, $29.99. I'm guessing Dreadbear is going to be the same price when they release it, $9.99. Um, it's just, it looks really good. And when Steel Wool tweeted out that they released it for Switch, they also added a little bit more to their tweet. Hold on, I got to find it. So this is the exact tweet. It says, before our next big announcement, which will be soon, I want to let all the awesome FNAF fans who have an Oculus Quest know that we're one bug fix away from being done on the port. We are working with our partners at Oculus to determine when the release date will be coming soon. So we've got three things, okay? First up, it actually wasn't this tweet, I got that wrong, but it's out on the Switch. Number two, Oculus Quest port is coming soon. That is exciting, they are one bug fix away, and this was yesterday, on the 21st. So I would say maybe, at the most, two or three weeks, and then it should be out. Uh, don't quote me on that, because that's not a official release date, but that's my guess. I don't know how big this bug is, I don't know... Um, you know, how easy it's going to be to fix, but hopefully within the next couple of weeks, it'll be out. And then they also say before our next big announcement. This big announcement could be three things. Uh, security breach, which is probably what it's going to be. It's probably going to be a new teaser, or most likely a official trailer for the game, actually showing off the game properly, because we haven't had any gameplay footage about the game, it's just been teasers. Um, and leaked designs, but whatever. Um, number two, it could be the Xbox port. Honestly, it could be, but I think it's more likely going to be, uh, Security Breach. And number three, Showtime. It could be Showtime. <laughs> I don't think it will be, though. This is, this is one that I don't think it's going to be, but it, it does have a chance, okay? Because, um, in the Switch port, the Showtime button is still in the game. Why? That would be such a great opportunity to remove it. You know, bringing it to a new device, um, and since it hasn't been used, just get rid of it. And they could do that for um, PC, PS4, Oculus, all the stuff that it's already been released on, but it's still in the game. And Scott and Steel will still apparently have plans for it, as Scott mentioned in um, his Steam post, not Steam post, sorry, the Reddit post a, geez, a couple months ago at this point, like a long time ago. It's coming up to Help Wanted's one year anniversary on the 28th, so that's exciting. Most likely it's going to be Security Breach though. I do think it's going to be Security Breach. I think it's going to be a trailer. Um, they, they also say it's going to be soon. So again, a few weeks from now, one, two, three, maybe even four, I think at the max one month. But I don't think it'll be, um, 
I don't think it's going to be longer than that. They might release it for the anniversary of Help Wanted, because, like I just said, it's coming up six days from now. So, maybe then? But I don't know. Uh, all the stuff is coming soon, thankfully. I think it's going to be a really, really exciting time for Help Wanted, because finally, after a year, it is getting ported to non-VR platforms, you know? Um, it had PC, PS4, and Oculus. Those were the three places that it was released on. It did have a flat mode, but now it is, for the first time, being ported to consoles that specifically don't have VR support. Yes, I know, Switch has the headset labo, but who the frick uses that? It, it can't handle Help Wanted. I don't think it ever will be able to. It's such a great game. It's such a great game. I don't think it would ever be able to handle it. So... Plus, no one thinks of the Switch as a as a um, console that does have the ability to do VR. They just think of Smash Bros. and Zelda, really. So, really exciting news today, technically yesterday, um, and uh, a lot of great news coming up in the future, coming very soon. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.